Hi, today we're going to look at solving systems of linear equations using substitution. This is, you can find this in your textbook, page 416 to 427. And let's have a look at our first system. All right, so what we want to do is we want to basically rearrange one of the equations so that we can substitute it into the other equation. So let's go ahead and call this equation one and equation two. And you want to look at the two equations and see which variable is easier to solve for. So if we notice the coefficients here, we've got a two and a four. Here we've got a four and there's a one in front of the y. So what we're going to do is we're going to rearrange equation two to solve for y. So that looks like y equals y equals negative 4x plus 5, okay? So now we've got that, our third equation, basically, and what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to substitute it into our first equation. So we've got 2x minus 4, and I'm going to leave a little bit of a space here, and rewrite the rest of the question. Right here is where the y used to be. Now, instead of the y, I'm going to write 4x plus 5. All right, <clears throat> so now we notice we have an equation and there are just x's. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify it and solve for the x that is left there. Okay, collect your like terms. I've got 18x minus 20 equals 7. And solving for x, I want to divide both sides by 18 here, reduce your fraction, and you end up with x equals 3 over 2. All right, so for these systems of equations, we have to remember that our solution needs to have an x value and a y value because it is the coordinate where these two lines meet on a graph. So we're going to take this x value that we found and we are going to sub it back into one of the original equations. So let's sub, let's substitute into, oh, sorry, uh, equation one. <clears throat> All right. So I've got two, and then where I had an x, I'm going to put a bracket there for now, rewrite the rest of it, and replace the x with three over two. Simplify this. Notice I just have an equation with y, so it's very easy for me to solve for y. Gives me three minus four y equals seven, and if I solve for y, I end up with negative 1. Okay, so now my solution to this is a coordinate, and it's 3 over 2, comma, negative 1. All right. Okay, so now that we've solved that, solved that system, I want to take you through just quickly checking that our answer was correct. So we ended up with, uh, okay, I'll just rewrite the original system again. All right, and we want to check that our solution, which was three halves, negative 1 is correct. So basically <clears throat> what you want to do is you want to substitute back in these numbers, this remembering that that was our x value and this is our y value, okay? Put these back into each equation and make sure that the equation is balanced. So for the first one let's take our 2 and then instead of x I'm going to rewrite 3 over 2 minus 4, and then instead of the y, I'm going to write 
negative 1 equals 7. Now it's important that we work downwards so that we see whether or not this side of the equation is equal to this side. This is the left hand side and the right hand side. So we get 3 minus plus, sorry, negative, sorry, 4, we end up with plus 4 equals 7, so that's 7 there, so that just carries down. And we want to continue working on this side, so 7 equals 7. So we see here the left hand side <coughs> equals the right hand side. All right, so that works for the first equation. We have to check the second equation as well. It must work in both in order for it to be a completely satisfied solution. So here we've got 4, and instead of x, I have 3 over 2, because of that there, plus y. So instead of y, I write negative 1. And that should come out to equal 5. This here, oh, this here we have 6 plus negative 1. And this, indeed, equals 5. So here also we see left-hand side, equals the right hand side. All right, notice that we've got 7 equals 7, that's a true statement, and 5 equals 5, that's a true statement. So therefore, 3 over 2, negative 1, is a verified solution. All right, so now we have another system of equations that we're going to solve for by substitution. And here, there's first thing, I want you to look at these two equations that we have here and notice what is actually here. So here we've got 5x minus 3y equals 18 and then 4x minus 6y equals 18. And notice a couple things here. Um, <clears throat> if I were to just solve for one of the variables here or here, I'm going to end up with a whole bunch of fractions. If you're okay with fractions, then that's fine. Go ahead and substitute exactly the way we did in the first example. If you look at it a little deeper and notice that uh, 4, 6, and 18, they all can be divided by 2. And if I divide equation 2, oh, sorry. Okay, so if I, let's call this equation 1, call this equation 2, and if I take equation 2 and I divide it by 2, I'm going to end up getting 2x minus 3y equals 9, okay? Now, here we have a negative 3y here and a negative 3y here. If I don't want to deal with any fractions, I can isolate this negative 3y right here and solve for it, which ends up giving me negative 3y equals negative 2x plus 9. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute this, notice see we have here, okay? Instead of writing the 3y right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write in that whole piece there. So that's going to give me 5x minus 2x plus 9, and that is equal to 18. So here I'm back to a situation where I just have one variable. I can simplify it and solve for x. Okay? And I end up getting x equal to 3. Okay? So I've solved for one variable. Awesome. I'm not done the question yet because you have to solve for y. So now you take this here x equals 3, and substitute it back into one of the original equations. So let's sub it into equation 1, and we end up getting five times three minus three y equals 18. We only have one variable in here, so we can solve for y, and we end up getting y equals negative 1. Okay? 
All right, so now <clears throat> the solution to our system is 3, negative 1. All right, so why don't you try s checking the solution to this by substituting 3 in the x and negative 1 in the y and making sure that the left-hand side equals the right-hand side in both equations and thereby verifying that you have the correct solution for the system.